Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is news of 1.4 billion leaked clear text passwords. Now, before I start, I'm sorry I didn't have any videos last week. I was attending Black Hat in Europe and simply didn't find time in my schedule to do videos. That said, I'll be sure to post a couple videos this week before leaving for the holidays. In any case, back to today's news. An organization called 4IQ found a huge database treasure trove of over 1.4 billion user credentials. And they apparently found this on some underground site on the dark web. Now this 1.4 billion credentials is not one specific uh, password leak. Rather, it seems to be aggregation of over 250 different credential leaks. And by the way, according to 4IQ, about 130 or so of these leaks are actually net new data. They found many of these passwords worked and 14% of the information is actually new credential information as opposed to previous password leaks. What's also interesting about this huge 41 gigabyte database is that it's clear text passwords. Often these password leaks are hashed credentials, passwords that are stored as a cryptographic hash. The problem is if you have a short password, crackers can often crack these hashes and change them to actual clear text passwords. And everything in this database base or so I hear is actually a clear text credential that's very easily searchable. That means a bad guy can simply search for say your email address and if one of your passwords was the victim of one of these leaks it will show up with the clear text password. Now the good news by the way is if you use a long password chances are they haven't cracked your hash. In any case, this is a huge subset of data that seems to be very publicly available on the underground. So what does that mean to you? Well, basically you need to follow the password security practices I've always mentioned. First of all, always use long and strong passwords. As long as your password's around 14 to 16 characters or longer, it's not really viable for bad guys to crack that particular password hash. On top of that, you should not use the same password at every site you visit you should use different ones. And frankly, the only way any human is going to have a chance of using many different passwords that are really long and random is by using a password manager that can keep track of all these passwords for you. More importantly, my final tip for authentication, and really the most important one, is to use multi-factor authentication whenever possible. In fact, I hope that multi-factor authentication becomes ubiquitous in 2018. That's because these sorts of token leaks, whether they be passwords, words or biometrics or whatever form of authentication you're using, they have security risks. Your password may be leaked or stolen. You might accidentally give away your fingerprint, which can never be reused. So you really should use multiple forms of authentication so that even if a hacker gets your password, he can't authenticate as you. Anyways, very interesting uh, data. And if you haven't changed your password after some of these previous leaks, hopefully this 1.4 billion leaked credentials is most motivation to go change your password now. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.